Welcome to the Vogue Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Vogue Podcast. I'm honored by actress Lizzie McCarthy. Uh, by her stage name. Thank you so much for coming on, Lizzie. You guys might know her best from the Sandwich Saga, where she currently plays a very mysterious woman, uh, which we'll talk about a bit later. Thank you so much for coming on, Lizzie. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing fine. I mean, I, I, you know, like years before or when I interviewed John and Ellen, I didn't even think that I'd be talking to you. Uh, I think you're a good friend of theirs, right? Yes, we've been friends for, oh, 20 plus years. Mm, that's a lot. And this small yeah. acting opportunity, I suppose, or play, I don't know, how should I call it? This <laughs> really, I suppose, brought us together to this moment. So I'm glad to have you on. Yeah. And I'd like to ask the first question, which is, when did you get into acting? Uh, I guess it teens. Um, I had been a dancer since I was uh, could walk, um, oh. and then uh, once I covered theater, uh, then that was it for me. Oh, well, that sounds like pretty soon. And uh, so, okay, let's talk a bit about Twin Peaks. Uh, that was like one of your first like bigger jobs, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, um, I had just moved back to Seattle from New York and uh, auditioned. I think when I auditioned for David Lynch, uh, who is the director, of course, Twin Peaks, um, what the audition involved was doing something strange with your face. And so I think I twisted my mouth sideways <laughs> and, um, you know, he saw that, thought that was funny. I think he's a funny guy. Uh, he, you know, he likes interesting people so oh, okay. uh well i mean you know I, I saw that uh vimeo video that you sent over and it was so hilarious it was an amazing video <laughs> uh and uh, thank that, you that was like the only part that you were in that was my my art uh, uh the, the great thing is so david lynch very kind man very thought and he was famous or is famous for uh, giving people lines, giving actors lines in his films that don't necessarily have them in the script. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if you're a union actor, you get paid more if you open your mouth and speak. So even if it doesn't end up in the film. So he, uh, while we were there, all I was supposed to do was laugh as I did. Um, but he very kindly said, well, why don't you say something like, uh, uh, help yourself to the coffee it was fresh yesterday or something you know oh, yeah. uh, and, it, and it ended up on the cutting room but I got paid more because he gave me a line oh well <laughs> that's amazing um oh, there were like I'm not sure but there were like maybe continuations of Twin Peaks or unless I'm yeah. wrong uh, no, no, no. The, this was, I mean, the television show had been very popular for a long time. And then the film came out, Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me. That's what I'm in. I'm not in the television series, but I have uh, lots of friends in the area because, of course, it was filmed here in the northwest of the United States uh, uh, in North Bend, which is actually how I came to start being in these videos with my friends, John and Ellen. Because Gary Schwartz, who yeah. is one of the voice actors in, in Team Fortress 2, lives in North Bend. Ah. And he okay. said, hey, wouldn't it be fun while we're doing these videos if we got someone from Twin Peaks? And John said, oh, I know someone. So that's how that all began. Oh, my God. That's a great story. <laughs> uh, getting back to Twin Peaks, I'm not sure if the show from 2017 had something to do with the original Twin Peaks that you were in, but there was like a show called Twin Peaks. And uh, the reason I'm mentioning it is because uh, actor Grant Goody was in it. And you might not know him, but he is a voice also in Team Fortress 2. So that's why I'm uh, bringing that up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know him personally, but I do know him. Yeah. Okay. So you have heard of him. Okay. Sure. 
Sure. He's from the area. Oh, is he? Yeah. Originally, I believe he is from this area, and he was in a whole lot of TV back in the the 80s, as I recall. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I believe he now lives around the L.A. area. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if he still does acting. I know he does some commercials and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's interesting to hear about him because, you know, he hasn't been a part of the sandwich saga uh, so far. Right. No. Oh, yeah. No. Not yet. <laughs> Only time will tell. Right. <laughs> uh, getting back to Twin Peaks, I want to talk about it because there was one episode of Sandwich Saga where which played in like a restaurant, Twin Peaks. You know, and uh, there you haven't really played the mysterious yeah. woman yet. You were just uh, pretty much, to me, it seemed like you were playing the giggling secretary there. That was exactly right. That's how it started. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it was hilarious. And everyone thought it was <laughs> hilarious because they didn't think that uh, you were an actress. You know, they just thought you were a random citizen in this restaurant. And uh, it was <laughs> hilarious to you know, then you were turned into this mysterious character, which uh, by now everyone just loves. I mean, you I'm sure you have seen that uh, 3D model that they have made of you, you your character. Yes. Absolutely. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm blown away by the fan art. That is that is I I'm just really impressed with uh, how connected people are to this game. Oh yeah, definitely. And I mean Yeah. Um, and you're not even in the game, or are you in the actual no. game? So, so I'm that's not even in the game. It's it's even more impressive if uh, <laughs> if people know that. Yeah, you know, people were wondering if you know they didn't know who you were, and then when you were in this series, they they were starting to question: Are you actually in the game? Are you voicing someone in this game? And I uh, wish. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. H have you done any voiceovers actually before? Yeah, I've done a lot of, uh, I haven't done any gaming uh, mm -hmm. voiceover, no, uh, not for lack of trying, um, but uh, I've done, you know, a lot of other voiceovers, and I've done, I do uh, radio programs with John, John Lowry. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, can it be like uh, the further adventures of Sherlock Holmes? Where are you yeah. at? Yeah, yeah. I, I see that often because John promotes it a lot. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a serial it's a radio series that um uh it's written i believe by jim french and who is not related um that's a different french than my husband yes um and uh it's it's a you know recurring series of the adventures of sherlock holmes and john of course is the voice of sherlock holmes yes um and he invited you to come in and do a couple of of the different episodes yes and uh uh, I have heard this series a few times. I heard Dennis Bateman and, you know, John. Yeah. And uh, so uh, judging uh, that it, I think it's played in the United Kingdom, I think. That's where it's uh, – or where is it set? It's uh, – well, yeah, well, that's where it's set, of course, in the world of Sherlock Holmes in, Lo in the London and surrounding areas. Yes, so I assume you played a character with a British accent. I did. And I haven't yeah. heard that character. It's me. But, yeah. How John decided that the mysterious would be a British queen. I don't know. Yeah, that's why I wanted to ask, like, uh, who did you base off this mysterious woman off? Like, why was she given a British accent? Yeah, tell us a bit about that, if you can. Well, um, uh, I guess who I'm basing her on is Diana Rigg. Uh, who was in a uh, very popular series in the 1960s called The Avengers. Um, uh, and she's sort of mysterious and she's a bit of a spy, and but <laughs> also very upper crust, very classy. So oh, yeah. um, that's why I decided to, to do that. And John wanted me to. John wanted, to, after we did the first couple of episodes where I was the giggling secretary, he said, I, I think really fun working with you let's make you a character let's just make you this mysterious woman <laughs> <laughs> so we decided that um at first we thought we might different dialects uh -huh. each time but then we we stuck with the diana rigg uh, standard british accent but it's amazing 
I mean, it's really great because, I mean, I'm not sure how aware you are of Team Fortress 2, but Ellen's character, the administrator, also has a British kind of accent, you know. Yes, so, he's so funny. Um, And I mean, uh, I think you get more screen time than Ellen, but it'd be cool, and I'm not sure when are you going to film the next uh, episode of it, if maybe you and Ellen would get uh, some sort of screen time together. <laughs> whatever you know i mean uh, a mysterious spy woman and the administrator whatever two british yeah. women could talk about with cigars <laughs> you know i mean uh, uh, john is a great director a great writer i think you know he wrote his book uh, dancing with eternity so i'm sure he could think of some amazing ideas you know yeah all of this is john so yeah. i mean he he comes up with the ideas and writes the scripts and um i just think he's hysterically funny definitely um, <laughs> where he comes up on stuff but you know the, the what he's really doing is trying to fire the imagination mm -hmm. of the thing oh yeah by by all means this is a this is this is really appreciated by the fans i mean you know you there nothing like this was ever made uh, in the past years in the past 14 or so years and this is right now very much appreciated by the fans because they never saw anything like this before yeah it's really great to you know so many people will say like oh you made my day this made me laugh so hard we got the next question over here so you know you are in this sandwich saga this this series that the fans love not not so sure about the voices who are doing it but i think you guys are having fun personally i think but i don't know correct me if i'm wrong Oh no, we are having a blast. We're just laughing our heads off. Um, it's very funny to be out in these, you know, public places in the Seattle area in Washington State, United States, and and be, you know, doing these crazy things and having people walk past and either they're not sure what we're doing or yeah. sometimes we will have fans walk up. Uh, because they'll see Dennis in his his mask, oh yeah, uh, and they'll right away say, "Is this a TF two thing?" Um, oh. so it's really fun. It's fun to. We also meet a lot of people. A lot of fans will come up and ask, and then want to talk and take selfies, and they're like, "Who's she?" <laughs> <laughs> it's really really fun. We're very very silly, and I think that there's never an age where you should stop being silly and having fun. Definitely. That's why I yeah. did it in the first place. So, I mean, we're, I mean, it's a, it's a bit weird for me to say, because I mean, you know, since you're not a part of the actual team fortress Two universe, and now there's like a connection between team fortress two and twin peaks, you know, some people I know. consider all of this canon just because the actual voices are doing it. So it's yeah. really amazing to see you guys come together uh, because it's just a lot of fun to see and see you guys act out scenes. And I mean, you know, John is being re really faithful to the characters as well. So that's also yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, I, when I had Dennis Bateman on, um, like some months ago, I can't remember when exactly, I also asked him because uh, he was just preparing for his first time with the John and mm -hmm. recording for, you know, uh, the, the first episode of Sandwich Saga that he was doing. And, uh, well, he didn't really know what to expect, right? <laughs> so the first time when you, you know, met up with them at Twin Peaks at the restaurant, and what did John tell you? You know, how did you prepare for the first recording? Um, well, he called me up and said, hey, I've got this what the idea uh and i wonder i've got a favor to ask you would you be willing to come out to north bend this little sandwich shop and just laugh like you did in twin Peaks? i was like okay so <laughs> i you know i didn't have anything better to do that day it was kind of rainy oh, yeah. and um <laughs> as it as it is in seattle um and, yeah. you know, just did it and didn't think anything more about it. Had some lunch with them afterwards and heard, you know, things about Gary. Gary Schwartz was part of that person. 
um, that, and then I didn't think anything more about it. I, but then all of a sudden we were doing one on the ferry and then we were doing one, <laughs> you know, it just kept going on and on. And, uh, I was trying to understand why he kept asking me to be part of it. Um, but it's, it's great. He's created this character that has absolutely nothing to do with the game, isn't in the game. Um, yeah. So it's fun. But it's so fitting. It's absolutely fitting, the mysterious woman and everything, you know? I mean, it's just, I'm really interested in seeing how will her character play out in, in future episodes. And, you know, uh, because for now, she seems like an ally. But at the very beginning, she rather seemed like a spy that was spying on the cast, you know? Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to what we'll get soon. So, mm -hmm. uh, since you're in this series, I wanted to ask you, what exactly do you know about the game? The game. You know, I don't want to offend any fans, but Team Fortress 2, I first heard about when John called me and asked me to be in the movie. Uh, <laughs> or in the, the videos. Because um, I am of a certain age, uh, my children are actually in their 20s, so they were not, like, most of the Team Fortress 2 fans, uh, original fans, are, like, in their, from what I understand, the game was, like, 16 years ago originated. Yes. And so I missed it, you know, I was, I have kids in my 20s, I'm of a certain age. And in between, <laughs> I wasn't playing video games. I was taking care of all my kids. So oh, I'm actually curious about it. Well, you know, I mean, I I can't really put it into words. It's you really need to see it and understand it. How this community is, well, a it's really, phenomenal. It's it, it is it, it has a really toxic community, and it ha also has a good part of it. But there is a bad part of, to it as well. But I mean, what you guys are doing is just phenomenal. And we real I, I just want to personally thank you. Uh, and maybe if you'll meet up with John anytime soon, then maybe you could let him know too. But I mean, I talk to him when I can, of course. So really just thank you for what you're doing because I don't really see other actors being so committed to, you know, doing these anything like Grand Goodeve, I mean, I don't want to offend him or anything, but he really doesn't seem to be interested in doing some video game skits, you know, <laughs> which is uh, okay because, you know, from what I heard, he's a Hollywood actor, so he has better things mm -hmm. to do, of course, and he is a private hey. man too, so that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so I don't think you offended any Team Fortress 2 fans. I mean, often not even the actual voice. I hope not because, uh, you know, I'm just, thrilled that everybody is enjoying me so much and for me i feel like it adds the mystery of the mystery woman oh yeah if she really isn't part of the game who is she i mean you never know i mean maybe <laughs> and this is very unlikely but if uh, valve would ever consider doing updates again for the game so, so what i'm trying to say is maybe if the developers decide to you know, put some work in it again for like a bigger update. Maybe you could get involved in some way, uh, which would be cool, of course. Yeah. So how familiar are you with the cast of Team Fortress? So you said that you've been friends with John and Ellen for over 20 years, right? But uh, what about Gary and Dennis? H have you knew them before? Um. Okay, so I've known John and Ellen actually more than like more than 25 years because okay. um I was in shows with them when my son was a B who's now 27 um Dennis I met through uh actually through doing the Sherlock Holmes okay. ra uh, radio program uh -huh. so he and I have worked on a couple of episodes together and that oh. so I didn't you know when I when he was part of uh the videos uh I was like great great actor and then Harry I didn't know um and come to find out you know he was this major Hollywood actor um quest for fire <laughs> he told some great stories about filming that mm -hmm. when I first met him when we had that sandwich shot did the sandwich shot video and then had lunch <laughs> afterwards 
got to hear some great stories about that. Oh yeah. Um, but they're all just lot. really fun. They're just, you know, and I love the way that the, the, um, the fans will say like, uh, you know, Oh, it's great to see all these old folks out there. Just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. They couldn't have said it like you know in a, in be, in a in a better way because yeah like I said before we really appreciate it. We have a few questions from a few fans over here. Okay. Our first question from Nosy is, if you have like a favorite scene from the Sandwich Saga, any? Oh, yes, that would be my death scene in the Tower of No Return. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I I. <laughs> That oh my god I I I I'm I don't have any words because I I just remembered that that part and it was so goddamn funny, <laughs> like you know it, no. it, it's like trying to make the like the person emotional and then <laughs> then you're like I'm okay so like what? <laughs> like <laughs> John is a mastermind definitely I'm so it's very silly I'm okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was like a totally like the best scene probably of your character. Like if if uh, if your previous scenes didn't make uh, the people like the character, then after this one, they definitely. Must have. That's <laughs> well, a good death scene. Yeah. So <laughs> a winner. Luckily, you didn't <laughs> die. So you, right. you will reappear. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all that matters. And uh, related to this scene. Is King K also asking who threw the bread on y'all? Uh, <laughs> behind the scenes wise and story wise as well. Story wise, I can't tell you that. Because that's a mystery what, that will be revealed. Um, but in the actual tower, um, we were throwing it at each other. I threw <laughs> I threw the bread at all of uh, at Gary and at Dennis. And at John, which I was shocked that I actually hit them because I'm a terrible thrower. Ask my kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then when I it, it was Gary and uh, Dennis were just tossing it at. Or I guess it was Gary and John that read at me because Dennis was down the stairs waiting wow. to come. Oh, oh no! Oh yeah. <laughs> His but reaction I, is very. <laughs> we were disappointed because, as I recall. <laughs> Uh, Ellen didn't have any bread thrown at her. So no, that's that's no terrible. bread thrown at the administrator. Yeah, that's that, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that was such a great scene, and I mean like the most recent episode, the Tower of No Refunds. Yeah, I mean that that's such a. I mean, like you said, John is a great mastermind in writing, and I mean, mm -hmm. I just. I'm just honestly at this point waiting at what's going to be next. Uh, can you tell us a bit about when is the next recording going to take place? Well, you know um, that, we did a small short recording recently, which um, will be coming out soon. I can't really say anything about that. Um, John and Ellen are currently in Lima, Peru. Yes. Um, yeah. And so it has to be with that. And then actually we will be filming last week in March while we are in Boston for PAX East. Oh, wow. And uh, Robin Atkin Downs will be present as well? Yes, and I get to meet him finally. Oh, that'll be excellent. That'll be excellent. <laughs> finally, the whole cast of the Sandwich Saga comes together. For one video, right? <laughs> and and you'll be in going Bean to Town. yeah, in Boston, and you'll be going to uh, you'll be going to this PAX East with with the rest of the cast, uh, yeah. And you'll also be signing. Uh, sure, if anybody wants me to, I'll bring some headshots with me. If anybody wants to have an autograph from the mysterious woman, I will be there. So, yeah. Oh, well, it'd be, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of fans for the mysterious woman, right? <laughs> well, and it's I... like giggling secretary, mysterious woman, random actor from Seattle. It's just whatever you want it to be. Yeah. I mean, 
the giggling secretary might just be the mysterious woman at the same time, but we'll never find out. Only maybe. 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a favorite line from the series? Oh, I think it would be uh, when I say that I am uh, the League of Urgently Needed Cohort Harangers and Metrically Enhanced Algorithmic Tacticians. Super I, Spy. I'm surprised you remember that line to that detail. <laughs> oh, well, I had to memorize it, you know, pretty quickly. So I, I was staying asleep. And oh, super top secret spy with the league of urgently needed cohorts, harangues, and metrically and oh, an algorithmic. Oh, see, now you <laughs> messed me up. <laughs> I apologize, but I mean, I was just trying to understand <laughs> what was this? What, what was this scene I just saw? Is that this? is the it's it's the acronym for lunch meat. Ah, oh. league of urgently, yeah, okay. Oh. You know, I wouldn't have figured that out. <laughs> Lunch meat league of urgently needed cohorts, harangers, and metrically enhanced algorithmic tacticians. Lunch meat. And that was on purpose by John. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Of course. Mm -hmm. Lunch meat because of the sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any of the final videos, you know, the edited ones? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like there he posts them on Twitter and YouTube and yeah, um, yeah, uh, absolutely. The minute that he finishes editing them and posts them, uh, he lets us know so that we can get on there and quote tweet and just <laughs> laugh our heads off watching it. It's so funny. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh. If he'll be able to get a hold of more voices from the cast, and I mean, uh, in the previous episode, in the Tower of yeah. No Refunds, Gary did refer to a character called Merasmus, which is also a character in Team Fortress 2, voiced yeah. by Nolan North, which I'm not I'm not sure if you know him, but he's an LA-based mm -hmm. actor, and I'm not sure if he'll be at PAX East, but uh, we're just looking forward to what's there to come. I mean... You know, we're always in interested in seeing you guys come together and recording something for us. Something Thanks. nice. I'm just really um, tickled to be, um, to have been invited to be part of it. It's turned into a really, really fun thing that I look forward to. Oh, yeah. And are you working on anything at the moment except the Sandwich Saga? <laughs> uh, thing wise no, not at the moment. Mm. Doing lots of auditioning, but uh, Zoom auditions are weird. They you know, are. It's much different than doing them in person, as you know. Oh, they are. They are weird. Mm -hmm. Any voiceover yeah. auditions? Are you doing those too? Uh, no, at the moment. Um, Sherlock Holmes uh, episodes have come out. Really, um, but I, I'm not excited for anything just yet. You know, they take breaks in between using certain actors more than, you don't want to barrage the audience with the same voice over and over in different characters. So. Of course, yeah, yeah. But I'd love some gaming voiceovers, you know. Maybe. And that would be you know, great. Maybe you could voice a mysterious woman or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. I know you can't tell us anything about what's the upcoming stuff in the Sandwich Saga, but uh, if there are, if you could share any upcoming plans of what might, or anything, any like references that we might expect, nothing like, doesn't have to be direct, but you could say something, maybe some reference to it. Hmm. If the mysterious woman is willing to talk. Well, actually... John doesn't release the script until we start filming, so I don't know any more than you do, Tori. Uh, so, in this interview, I'll be interviewing the mysterious woman, also referred to lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so tell us, what is your connection? 
to the cast. I don't know that I can speak to that. I don't want to give away anything. Hmm. And do you know the administrator? I do know of the administrator, yes. You're not answering the question. <laughs> That's my job. I'm mysterious. Oh, right. I almost forgot. <laughs> but the question is, will you ever find the sandwich? That is the question. And we'll all know the answer someday in the near future. Maybe Crust knows the answer. Possibly. And uh, before we wrap this up, do you think the mysterious woman would have anything to tell the fans of Team Fortress 2? Watch for the next episode to find out about Crust and Sandwich and how they connect. I've been looking for